I want to start off and give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kadash. I want to give another double honor to the apostles and elders in Great Millstone who have taught me this truth and who rule well. Enough respect and salutations and blessings out, out there to you, sincere Akim, that's pushing the word in sincerity and in truth. Today, this is the brother Malachi. Today, I have a, uh, a short little article that I just happened to run across uh, from. Uh, it came out around five to six hours ago, and um, it reads, YouTube says it can delete your account if you're not commercially viable. So, we can clearly see what this title is coming to an end. We can see that the famine of the word is coming very soon, very shortly. So let's go down and read some more. Um, go down some more. So this story uh, came out five hours ago, and it's by Matt Biner, or Binder. So it reads, uh, Salatia. YouTube's new terms of service has some users and content creators very worried that the company could delete their account. In the section titled Account Suspension and Termination with the subheader Terminations by YouTube for Service Changes, the site's new terms, which are set to take effect on December 10th, adds the following. YouTube may terminate your access or your Google account access to all or part of the service if YouTube believes in its sole discretion that provision of the service to you is no longer commercial, commercially viable. So lock it. What's going on with this? Okay, here it is. It reads, in its most basic terms, if YouTube isn't making money off you, the company can delete your account. The platform's current terms of service do not include this language. So here's another tweet from uh, Kis Kisum, Kisum or Kisume. It reads, YouTube is updating their terms of service on, on 10th December 2019. It presents an on it presents an awful possibility for the future of creators on the platform. And it goes for all the different brothers that's out there. They're putting their work. They're putting the videos. They're uh, putting different articles out there. So it's letting you know the future of the creators, which are which will be the men of the Lord, coming up with the different lessons, the different uh, different try to breakdowns of the videos. All that's being created and putting upon the platform of YouTube. All right. So in reads, it seems they will be able to determinate. So like it will be able to terminate your channel if it's no longer commercially viable. And that's right. We can see like, man, the family of the word is here, man. It's here. So let's go ahead and some more down on the article. It reads. Last week, YouTube started sending an email to its users notifying them about the site's new terms of service. In its email, YouTube summarizes the update as a way to make its terms clearer and easier to understand. Yet, this new addition to its terms weren't mentioned in the email, and the wording couldn't be any more vague. That's Esau for you. It's written... These broad terms give YouTube the power to delete a creator's account if they upload or live stream video that, for example, doesn't pull in enough advertising revenue. So you can see the most of the men of the Lord, we don't we don't have a lot of that, we don't have none of that going on. Now you get the other Israelite groups that got their stuff monetized and things like that. They'll probably still be able to continue their, you know, their, their folly that they got going on. But it's that you know that a lot of the, 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 they're pushing towards knocking the word out, especially from off YouTube. 
So let's read on some more. Uh, YouTube viewers aren't in the clear either. Notice the terms are worded to cover anyone who has an account, not just as content creators. The language used can mean that a user who looks a lot of content uh, but doesn't necessarily monetize can also have their account removed. Well, let's read on some more. Here's another one from Christian uh, Mar Marocco. YouTube has new terms of service on December 10th. This basically says that if channels doesn't make enough money, they will possibly terminate them. Looks like I fought to the very end, but now I may be close to losing my livelihood, losing my passion, my audience, and my dot, dot, dot. I'm sure it's going to be his money or his, his voice. Because if that's his livelihood and, that, and he's losing his passion, he's not going to be able to create anymore. And if that's what he was solely dependent on YouTube to make his revenue of money, hey, it's letting you know that's going to be going bye-bye. All right, let's go down some more. It reads, a generous read of these terms can be seen as YouTube giving itself the ability to remove users and channels that disseminate hate speech or other violent rhetoric. <laughs> This is Esau for you, man. He's trying to take it down for the word, man. YouTube was doing all good, but as soon as the the, the, uh, the men of the Lord, the prophets, when they came on the scene, it wasn't that big yet. But now they can see that it's getting spread across the whole earth right now. He, he sees it. He's like, oh, no, man, we got to take this down now. So now they got to try to find another way by their policies. You see how they're trying to go into the terms and the service of YouTube? So they can't really shut YouTube down yet. But they can change the terms of the service. This is how to weigh up by his policies. All right? So he can be somewhat justified. But we already know. We're not, we're not uh, uh, ignorant to Satan's devices. So it reads on some more. Um, however, the wording should be more... Oh, Salakia. I went up too much. Too much. Uh, it reads, for example, an account that starts creating white supremacist content can uh, Salakia can certainly be deemed as longer Salakia can be deemed as no longer commercially viable. However, the wording should uh, should more explicit in defining. What the update means. It should be also noted that the terms uh, specifically state that the company can terminate a user's Google account as well. Wow. It's written, a YouTuber, a YouTuber can lose their Gmail, Google Photos, documents, and more just for no longer being commercially viable on the video platform. Wow, that's something new right there. Because that's, I mean, that's going to affect me a little bit, but I mean, I could care less about it. Just make up another one. But I don't, I don't have my, my whole livelihood on, on my Gmail account. It's just, you know, certain numbers, uh, certain brothers that I have. You know, if, if I decide to go get another phone, I would have to do it under another whole Gmail account. But I'm just going to have to write everybody's uh, number down or actually just remember it because... Once this, uh, if this really goes into effect, which it will, they're going to delete my, uh, my Gmail, which is connected to my YouTube as well. And I have a lot of my phone numbers and everything into that photos, you know, of, of my daughter when she was born and things and, and you know, in that nature, but all that's going to be done away with. All right. So it reads on people are, of course, freaking out. So letting you know it's gonna break. It's, this is the most high stirring up them spirits. This is letting you know that 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 man, the family of the world is coming. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be an outrage. We don't know the backlash of what's gonna happen after this because people they 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 need this as their livelihood. So it reads on. Uh, people are of course freaking out on Reddit. A single discussion on the topic has more than thirty two thousand upvotes. <clears throat> And 2,300 comments. 
at the time this post was published. Tweets, <clears throat> Salakia, <coughs> tweets shining a light on the terms of service update are receiving thousands of likes and, and retweets. Mm. So you can see the people up here. They're putting uh, uh, their different tweets up here. So I guess these are people with, you know, I guess a larger uh, platform. But uh, here's one from Liz Ray Rayerson. Note that if you have 100,000 subscribers, YouTube will let you use their studios in L.A. It's a completely different lane for people who are successfully on these platforms. And a lot of the people who have been successfully on YouTube have got it from doing reactionary garbage. And you can see a lot of the people that have their, 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 their large platforms, their many subscribers and things like that. They, 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 man, they can go straight to L.A. And guess what? They can film in their studios. They're, they have an actual, YouTube has an actual studio. That's why you see them in the background. It look like they're in a type of different building. They, man, like, man, you can see some of these people, like, they really, like, they in L.A. You can see that they're using YouTube as a platform. But if you, let's say if you got maybe 90,000, you're not up there to 100 yet. You, you may be able to lose your account. I mean, we don't know. We don't know how this is going to go. So I read on in the article. As one person on Twitter points out, this feels to some like yet another move from YouTube that plays favorites with its biggest, most profitable, profitable creators. Channels with more than 10,000 subscribers are able to use YouTube Studio Space for free. Okay, well that just, you know, that just made it clear. So if you got less than 10,000, depends, depends. If it's not monetized, if it's not making enough money, it's still going to get deleted. Wow, that's Esau for you. Read on. It reads on. In 2018, the company changed its, monet its monetization policy, shutting out many smaller creators. Small channels that are eligible for monetization have increasingly higher standards to abide by than the bigger channels did when they were starting out. Marshall has reached out to YouTube for more information and we will update this post when we hear back. Mm. So we can see December 10th, 2019, it will be coming into effect for the new terms and policies of YouTube that it may be able to delete your account if you're not commercially viable, meaning you're not, if you're not making YouTube any money. So, hmm. let's start at 10. This is the book of Amos, chapter 8, verse 10. And I will turn your feasts into mourning and all your songs into lamentation. And I will bring up sackcloth upon all loins and baldness upon every head. And I will make it as the morning of an only son and the end thereof as a bitter day. So December 10th, especially 2020, that's going to be the bitter day for a lot of people. Especially if a lot of the accounts are going to be taken down. Because they're not being monetized. It's letting you know. It's going to be a bitter day for them. Lamentation. People, their livelihood. Their livelihood. You're going to see. Lamentation is going to be throughout the earth. Especially for the people out right here straight in Babylon. So it reads on. On 11. I'm Salakia. Amos 8 and 11. Behold. Behold. The days come saith the Lord power that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh. Verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north and even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh and shall not find it. 
So it's letting you know when the feminine of the word comes, that's it. It's no more. It's no more. It's no more. It's going to be people trying to find the word. Because probably at that time, the Most High is going to be able to make sure he's going to get the prophets from off the streets. And then you got the family of the word coming. You got all chaos coming. People, what well, people, they're going to be trying to seek the word of the Lord. It's going to be too late in that day. It's going to be too late in that day. So if you're an Israelite out there and you see this video and you're playing around, huh, the most high is showing you like, hey, I'm, I'm not playing no games. I'm about to let this, I'm about to let this go full throttle. I'm about to turn off the heat. He's already turned up the heat on a, on a lot a lot a lot of us. Me, a lot of the other brothers that's out there. You can see the brothers that have different ailments, different sicknesses. Uh, they got more tribulations, more stuff is coming. You can see the Most High is turning up the heat on everybody, man. You can see when you go out to camp, these different these these wicked uh people that's that's coming out. They got spirits on them. They bugging out, man. Now they starting to buck up against the word. You can, man, you can see it, man. The chariot sights are going around. They're just everywhere. You hear the different noises going all around the earth. Different trump sounds, trumpet sounds. We can see the uproars of the people. I mean, like, I mean, the RFID chip is getting, it's, it's getting pushed. The mark of the beast is getting pushed for the year 2020. I mean, we at the end. And I... Clearly, I mean, I really believe through the spirit, man, the elect is already sealed. If they're not already sealed, man, they probably got like one person, one person left to get sealed, man. We like at that, we are, we're that close at the door. And then you got Israelites playing around at the end. This ain't no time to be playing. You can see a lot of our people, they just bugged out. They fighting over chicken. They just, man, they done. They are, they, man, they just done. A lot of them, they don't want to hear the word. They're not listening to the sound doctrine. So, so guess what, man? They, 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 soon they're going to they're gonna meet these missiles. They got to meet the concentration camps. They got to meet martial law. They got to meet the famine. The famine of the word as well. They got to, man, man, we got the end. And you can see that this will all be over very soon. Very soon. So one thing I can say for the brothers out there, pray, have some, pray and ha, uh, and ask the, uh, the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, for mercy, because the times that we getting ready to come in, this is the time you need to be trimming the fat, and everything needs, everything that does not have to go with the truth, man, cut it off, let it go. It makes no sense because all of it's gonna get burnt up. So keep the faith. Keep going. Keep pushing. Hopefully this lesson was a little edifying. I don't want to make it too long. Uh, this is the brother Malachi. Shalom.